the Turkish Navy has successfully conducted its first operational deployment of the new Turkish-made MAV Zaha Marine Assault Vehicle during the Sea Wolf 1 2024 exercise. This strategic naval drill took place from January 7 to 16, 2024, across the Black Sea, the Aegean Sea, and the Eastern Mediterranean, demonstrating Turkey's dedication to maritime security and the development of its naval capabilities. The exercise aimed to test operational command and control efficiency, improve readiness levels, and strengthen decision-making skills in challenging situations. Seawolf 1 2024 also exhibited the compatibility among various force commands and public institutions. The exercise involved a remarkable array of military assets, highlighting Turkey's commitment to sustaining a strong and adaptable naval force. The FNSS MAV Zaha Marine Assault Vehicle, an amphibious armored vehicle that can traverse both land and water smoothly, was the highlight of this display. The successful deployment of the MAV Zaha proved its operational capability and marked a significant achievement for Turkey's defense industry. The exercise included eight frigates, three corvettes, 16 assault boats, seven submarines, and six mine hunting ships. Besides these, the naval drill also involved a diverse range of assets, such as 47 auxiliary class ships, 13 patrol ships, nine landing ships, 10 aircraft, 17 helicopters, and 22 unmanned aerial vehicles. Specialized teams, such as SAT and SAS mission teams, teams, as well as amphibious marine infra units and assault teams, demonstrated their skills, further confirming the Turkish Navy's operational readiness. The Zaha Marine Assault Vehicle, MAV, is a new amphibious armored vehicle developed by FNSS Savunma Systemleri, a defense vehicle manufacturer based in Turkey. Designed to support dual operations depending on their mission requirements, Armored amphibious assault vehicles need to ensure superior capabilities both at sea and on land. The Zaha MAV has a water-resistant hull displaying superior amphibious features. Its fully sealed hydrodynamic design not only improves mobility in water, but also provides self-riding ability. Powered by a diesel engine mounted on the forward hull, the Zaha MAV has a fully automatic transmission system in amphibious mode, two rear-mounted water jets drive the vehicle, reaching a maximum speed of 7 knots. On land, the MAV can achieve a maximum speed of 70 km per hour, displaying its versatility across different terrains. The armored personnel carrier variant, the specially designed Kaka dual remote-controlled turret that can be equipped with a 0.50 caliber M2 heavy barrel machine gun and a 40mm AGL, is customized for diverse operational needs. The aluminum hull offers protection against ballistic threats and mine explosions, supplemented by a coaxially mounted smoke grenade launcher and a dedicated system protecting against nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC weapons. Operated by a crew of three, a commander, a driver, and a gunner, the Zaha MAV ensures optimal efficiency in the field. The driver sits in the front seat with the commander's hatch following closely. Located in the middle, the gunner's compartment provides a clear panoramic view, enabling efficient tracking of enemy movements. Additionally, a spacious rear compartment accommodates cargo and up to 21 dismounted troops.